Good evening. Welcome to episode number 14 of the series of Let's Make an Amiga Game in Assembly. As always, I first of all, I start by saying, as always, please subscribe and like our YouTube videos. I have released episode number 27 of uh, the um, the book series, the Amiga, the complete course in Amiga assembly. Please like our uh, YouTube uh, videos and subscribe to our channel. If you, um, we also have other things. So please subscribe or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, okay? Like our Facebook page, which is here, I believe, yeah. Uh, like our fa Facebook page, like our uh, YouTube videos, and join our Discord server. The reason why I say join our Discord server, I mean, if you need to get in touch with me and ask any questions, that is the place where to ask or to be. Um, also, if you'd like to support us, then there is Patreon and Coffee. Okay, as you can see, there is 74 videos more to watch on uh, uh, on Coffee or Patreon because they are in sync with each other. Um, and you also get other stuff. Um, what I'd like to add also is that since the hassle that I had a week ago, I have um, added more commands to um, to the stream and tried to make it, let's say, more um, more responsive to your needs and. If you come to this page by typing uh, page list, I think it is this one. Okay, you, it will bring you to this page and it will show you the commands. But as always, there is the page of the links. Actually, let me swap to it like that. Um, mm, let me do this actually. Um, this is where you have all the links related to if you want to code uh, in Amiga assembly. You, it's free, this page. All you have to do is type uh, book page, okay, and you get it basically. Okay, and that's the link for the page. Um, there's quite a lot that I've added, um, please go through them, but one of the commands is exclamation commands and it gives you a list of most of them, but 
Um, I'm not going to go through them. Just if you want and interested to interact with me, then there those are uh, your best option. Please also remember that all the links are in the upper right hand corner. Just to remind you what we are building here. So this is the game that my friend Massimo Bonucci did on the Commodore 64. And we are building it for the Amiga. It's a simple game, but the aim of the game is to um, teach you uh, how to code for the Amiga. Of course, this is episode 14, 14 so you need to catch up if you just joined today. Um, but I'll show you the game. So basically we have this guy who is falling down the drain, let's put it this way, and the aim is to avoid the objects, okay? In the middle he can stay for a short period of time, else he dies, okay? And every time he hits one of those things, he loses energy, and the further he goes down, you know, the depth bar increases. Um, but if he stays too much in the middle, he dies, okay? So, that was the game. So let's go to our visual code. So, this is what we either have pending from previous episodes or what I'd like to do. So, we have the fixed price respawn delay, okay? This cannot be fixed yet till we do this, okay? Which is something that I'm looking forward to start today. Fix the music intro and in the game over. We can do that today, uh, but for now I will skip it and optimize the bit plane and color setup routines, which are these two, which we can do today, but I will skip it, skip them. I mean, if we have time, we'll do them, but it's just optimizing. So I'm, I'm, um, I think we should spend our time on something more creative. So today I will try to replace lives with the energy bar because right now we have numbers. We add the energy bar and the depth bar. I'm not sure we'll manage to add the depth bar, but let's hope we will do these two. They will take quite some time. And also we need to do some reorganization to be able to do it. For those that needs a reminder, this is our game. Oops, give me a second. It was going to start in debug mode. So here is our game. So, as you can see, as you can see right now, as you can see right now, every time we hit something, we die. Okay? And we had three lives. So, first of all, okay, I have music for the game. It's not complete, it's not ready, and it's a bit funny. I hope you don't mind the noises that it makes. 
Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to add the, the music, okay? The music is here, it's uh, this one, okay? Mr. Pooh version 5.mod, which we can add to the data. Now, this, this module, okay, was written using ProTracker 2.3, okay? 2.3 supports the P61 play routine. We are not using the P1, P61 play routine. We are using the old one that the, the one that is spoken about in the book, the book of the uh, Amiga 68000 assembly uh, cars. And uh, and because of that, there might be some things which might not work 100%. Um, first of all, let's let me let let me make you hear it normally without playing it in the in the game. Sorry, I just needed to start from the beginning. That's from the beginning. So now, I mean, this is not complete, okay? I'm not going to listen to it completely. Uh, give me a second till I... Um, but we will uh, edit, uh, we just edit it actually to the game and we will just play it, okay? So let's say what we have. Um, be in our game and let's play it it could be that I will have issues okay so in the intro and in the game over it doesn't play that is something that I told you in the beginning that it needs to be fixed So the sound of the flashing has something wrong in it and I can hear that there is something not playing correctly. So Right now in the middle he doesn't die, okay? Okay, so we have added the music. Uh, we will fix all these things. It's it's not the end of the world. Um, what you need to understand is now we have a game, okay? We have the main things of the game. We're going to improve them and make them more nicer. Let's put it this way. But I do not see more than another episode to finish this game. Apart from the graphics and all the miscellaneous things that there will be. So as a stream, okay, 
there will be another one for sure. Then I will take my time to fix all the things that need it needs to be fixed. I mean, it's graphics and stuff like not really coding. I will make another stream, but not necessarily after the next one. It might be later on. Because also, as I said, I'm quite busy. And I will show what I have added and what, ha what have been fixed. And then it will be released. All those that helped will be credited. So that is something that I need to add to the game, the credits. Um, but in terms of real coding, I think we are practically there, especially by what we do today. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do now after we edit the music, okay, is Uh, you remember we had the utils file, okay, where all the routines that we said uh, for now, uh, many of them will live there. Um, now I'm going to extract some of these. I'm going to create a file called HUD. HUD.s. Oh, not HUS, HUD. Okay, and in this file, okay, we have it here. I'm going to take some routines that we have here in the utils, okay? Um, the routines are that I'm going to take, uh, first of all, I'm going to copy the top part. So I'll copy this part as always. Then um, I'm going to take the initialization of the variables. Here. I should have removed that from here. Um, and there should be more. So all these related to HUD in a way. Oops. Till uh, update lives actually, till here. We can remove them. Let me see that I copied all. Anything related to HUD, basically, I took off from there. So, update lives, update score, update HUD, init variables. Let me see if there's anything else. No, I don't think so. Okay. So, let's save that. And let's save this. So, after this file, okay, we, so now we have all the, all the, all the routines related to the HUD um, in our um, separate file. Um, we need now, we need to create some variables and I'll tell you what I mean by variables. So I'm just going to move this a bit away and I 
if I click here and I add this one, okay, this is where all our variables are, okay, and where shall I put them? I think here. So we need, we're going to do the energy bar and depth bar, no? So all the variables related to, to them and the energy bar. Define constant block. Okay, I will explain why these numbers. And the depth bar, depth bar, this will be zero. Okay, so. We have eight bytes, which are set two to five, five, and we have eight bytes, which are set to zero. Now, that means that our energy bar is composed of eight bytes. Okay. So imagine a straight line, you know, when you put 255, you have all the bits on, no? So our energy bar, okay, is going to start full, right? And the depth bar, okay, it's also eight bytes, but they will contain zero. It's imagine eight characters, okay, and each character is a space, just two. Okay, so it's a zero. And the other one, imagine, uh, you know, a block the cursor size let's say of course the height we are only have one line um, of a of the bar but we do not need to store eight by eight okay because if we need we replicate the line further down in the y direction no so that's why we only need 8 bytes and not 64 so we declared those now we need to do some work on the HUD um, when I say the HUD the HUD data so that is in this one no in this one yeah okay so we have the lives and the high score but we need to add an energy meet an energy meter and a depth meter now the energy meter okay will be same where there are where there is uh, the score Okay, and I tell you why in a in a minute. We are replacing um, sorry, not this core. This core will remain there. But the lives is Uh 
did I copy with everything? Ah. So, right now for lives we have eight characters, okay? Well, there are some spaces and then we are representing our lives by two digits, okay? Now imagine those eight characters, okay? Our energy meter. Hence, the position of them will be the same. Well, we will have to change a bit because we are saying that it starts at uh, Y15. Remember, these are the 15 is um, where it starts horizontally, but each character is eight pixels high, so it's 15 times eight where it's starting, okay? Hence, okay, because of that, we need to add the depth meter. Now, I can do that by doing this, I believe. Uh, actually, I can do it like this. Copy these. And do it again here. The only difference is I'm going to make it neater because it's, it's annoying me now. So these are separate. Each one of them is separate. Now this is... Um, instead of... This should be that. Okay, and of course, this should go and this should be depth meter. I'm going to leave the live digits because remember we are writing to, the, to here right now. So I, I needed there that label, but imagine that we are replacing the energy meter where the live digits are and we are adding the depth meter because of that we need to move things a bit so where they are printed on the screen okay so um this has to be now i can take the positions that one and two and this should be i think further down No, that I think the maximum that we can go. Yeah, that that is the maximum that we can go. So these two, those two remain the same. Now, I need to calculate in my head now. So this one, this core should move at least one more up or two more up. Um, let's do it two more up because... I uh, know one more up. Six and seven. That's where we will display our score. Here. Lives needs to be turned into energy actually. And this one I I think this has to be Yeah, six and seven I moved two and this one I need to move two so two twelve and thirteen. Now this one I'm going to put a number. Um, let's say 17, 18, this one needs to go further down because it will be too close. So let's do 23, 24. I mean, I will run it and see where they are, they are now.
Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put zeros. To see better, I think I should do zeros. And here I'm going to do zeros also. Let's run it and see if it still works. First error. Um, ah, we did not include the HUD. Um, so here. We need add to test. Okay, let me switch to like this. Um, okay, let's try again. Okay. So I will need to stop it. So. I stopped it by pressing F12, okay, on the emulator. So, let's see if these are correct. So, score seems to be fine. Energy seems to be fine. Mm, high score. I think depth and high score needs to move because you know the i don't know if you can see my mouse point. yes you can the height between here and here is shorter than here and here so this needs to move one down and this needs to move one down and then it will be the height between this and this will be equal to this and that so yeah so this needs to be 24.25 and this one needs to be 18.19 so now if we run it again So yeah, it looks a lot, it looks a lot better, everything looks equal um, on the screen. Of course, where we have zeros for energy and depth, those, needs, those need to be replaced by a meter, okay, um, which we will uh, do in a minute. We still need to do um, something else. Um, we still need to do something guys to the HUD and I'm going to create a copy of it shall I create a copy of it uh, let's create a copy of it right now just in case I make, I make mistakes So, 
what we need mm, as I said some of these things should not because this doesn't need to be there okay I'm thinking how to organize it actually what's best so because this will still need to read so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is temporary And then we do not need any of this. So the energy meter, no, life's digits has to stay there. And the rest can go because we only need life digits, to be honest. Let's put it as spaces as we had before. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, from here, live digits, this one needs to go. And because we are going to write here anyway we won't see it but it, it it's good to, to still have it now this mm, score we need till here till here we need it energy we need it but then this we do not need no so I'm just going to, because they're going to be replaced by uh, by the bar. So we do not need that. We just need the word energy written. Then same for depth. We do not need this. And then I score we need it as is okay so this will be deleted eventually for now i left them because i do not know uh, how we are going and also it it gives me let me know that they are in position 13 and 19 so it helps me out okay so what's next now well we need the constants for these hence we need the constants file constants.s click here constants.s Actually, that should be here. Constance.s. Yeah, okay. And we need to add the constants of... So, the positions where they're going to be. Okay, so... And step bar positions position in the hub. And this specified in character in line in characters in line characters.
So, energy bar position, and one of them is this one is 13, and this one is depth bar position. And that was 19. Also, we need the length. How long is going to be our bar, no? We already know this in a way. Okay? So... I was confused whether it's GTH. I'm going to look it up. Give me a second. Because I always get confused. Okay, so I learned the difference. G T H. I always get confused here. Yeah. So the length. So bar length for both actually. is eight characters okay we need to specify them in characters which we already did because if you remember it's eight bytes of 255 or zero so Okay, so there is one more thing we had, if I'm not mistaken. number of lives <laughs> somewhere i was initialize initialize i was initializing lives i thought it was here hmm Number of lives. So uh, maybe it's here. Where was I initializing the number of lives? We have it in the file. Let me check. So that is what dot else, no? Ah, we are not actually, we don't have a variable. I thought we had. Okay, so let's do a variable.
let's do a constant uh, number of life. Now, in theory, this should be three, okay? Because we have three lives, but because we are using a, a bar, okay? Uh, and the bar has got is eight characters long. That means 64 pixels. Okay. Hence our lives is eight times eight. Now this one, okay, we might delete it. The reason why I, I'm keeping lives is because we have things that depend on it. Um, so for now, I'm just going to keep number of li lives and as it is, so right now it is 64, but actually what we are saying is 64 pixels of the bar, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to change that. Okay, so I'm thinking ahead, okay, now uh, in, in relation to this. So, probably we will delete this, but right now, so that the game continue to work, I am uh, just going to do it like that. Okay. So now we need to uh, start drawing the bars. So first, we need a routine that will draw the bar. And then it will be, I mean, right now it will just draw one bar and then we will extract that, um, the parameters so that we can pass parameters to it and we can draw the bars, the various bars that we need. So, um, let's call it the row bar. Um, so this one, I'm just because remember our bars are going to be same. It's like having characters in a way. So we have a routine which is called print info, which prints text to the screen. So I can take a big part of that routine and use it for the bars. Hence, let me find that it should be in the utils. Yeah, so I'm just going to copy this. We will cut things from this. Because there's lots of things that we do not need. So first of all, um, 
let's leave that alone for now all i need from all this is this part for sure where i calculate where to print for uh, where to put the bar hence this can go because we do not need a check we also do not need these i believe that might I'm just going to leave it for now and then these and these will be modified also remember we have each uh, bar is just one one line one one byte but because we are representing them as characters we need to print that byte eight times to the screen so here we need where the energy bar is so where did we specify this energy bar energy bar let's see So we had it here, but we will not be printing there. Hmm. I think I'm missing something. we need where we're going to print it on the bit plane we specified energy bar now oh why well, am yeah okay i got it <laughs> i i know what i was missing so we specified uh what is it was it not here uh yet well this we specified the place where the bar is going to be so that is what i need okay i was not missing i was not um I was not thinking straight so this one energy okay so we need that and we need the position where it's going to go on the screen so and we define that constant for energy bar position and let's do the zero these two 
will become parameters to this routine. But for now, we are just, I just want to display a bar somewhere on the screen. Then we need to calculate where it's, so we said it's going to be online 13 for the first one. So we need to calculate that. So we get the bit plane. But let's change it to A1. We don't need to use A3. Uh, is the number of rows, yes, per character. Yeah, that remains the same. But we change this to D1. No, actually, no. We can use the zero because we get it and we multiply to it. Yeah. And then we add them. Uh, what was A3 should be A1. Yeah, we add them together. So we get the position where we start, where line, where the line starts on the left hand side. But we because our hat is on the right side, we need to add the offset. And we add the offset to it. So that is one. A1. Now so this one. This is calculate address on bit where we are going to display the bar. We have the bar made up of eight characters now so this should be moved that long uh, bar length did we specify bar length did we create bar length yes we did and we do this in p1 i will update the the comments here. That's wrong. Now we are going to replicate what we have each each line basically. So what we will do is what we have in eight zero. So and we do not need to do a plus actually, except for the last one yeah and this should be a one and this add one to a one And then we loop. So, so this is, actually I do not need to comment those because they're going to move out. What I need to, to do is this one, length the bar length in the right. So, let's see if what I've written is correct. <laughs> um, we need to call a drawbar somehow. Um, where shall we do it? Because for now, we just want to see that there is a bar on the screen. Uh, so <laughs> I 
we can have it here. We only need to draw it once right now, so there's no update to it. Right now I just want to see that the routine works. Then this will be replaced because the draw bar will be will be part of another let's say routine that updates all the bars on the on in the HUD, you know? So definitely it won't be here. So right now let's see what it does. And there we have our first air. We are missing something. Ah, of course. Nobody spotted that. Um, where is the constants? Yeah, that should be an asterisk. Okay. As I said, the graphics will be updated, but I'm not going to waste time on the graphics. Oops, something is wrong for sure. <laughs> It didn't draw the bar. Okay. As we expected. It should draw the bar once. Oh. Okay. Let's see what's wrong with that routine. Uh, thank you very much how can i forget an rts um i'm not sure about this part but mm -mm. okay let's try it like that So, uh, no, something is not right. So, what else we're doing wrong? First of all, let's check that it's it's the routine that is causing that. So, <laughs> because I've been adding things and I didn't check. <laughs> um where was where did I edit? Okay, so we know it's the routine, uh, not really known. There's something wrong there. Uh. Okay, so why it is doing that? It's trying to print there, why? I just need to think now <laughs> more than anything why it's printing in the hut in the upper corner but hold on 
this routine. What did we change in the HUD that it didn't like? Data. Data. Yeah. What did we change from here that it's not liking? Because I left it here. Because I know it needs to write here. Um, let's do one thing. Let's put it back like that. It doesn't matter. They will be overwritten. And I'm just going to do this where it, where it was. Okay, let's see if we get it to work like that. Yes, so definitely um, writing, definitely uh, I'm at something here which I should have thought when moving this down here. So I'm going to leave the HUD as is for now with text. So we know that this text needs to be replaced with a bar and this one needs to be replaced with a bar. And let's try to draw the bar on it. What will happen is we'll draw the bar and then it will print either the number of lives uh, remaining and the depth bar will be zero but will be as it is so let's see i still think there's something not uh, okay here and the did i delete it no yeah i still think there's a bug in this one but Let's see. Yeah, definitely there's a bug in in the draw routine. Okay, so let's look at it now. Because we know that without it, it's fine. So, um, this one, I'm just going to because that I think would be and there's another mistake decrement and branch and the one I'm not was not even looping So, so I'm just going this, I might return it to here with the plus sign, but for now, just think it makes sense in my head like this for now. Okay, try again. Oh, 
Oh, you are not seeing what I see, actually. Hold on. That's... So now... Uh-uh. Still... Big issue. Am I doing it in the right position? I can do it here. Let's move it. Before the printer. Oh. Because that's where it should live, to be fair. So, nah, I'm doing something a bit, a bit plain. So, back to our, back to the drawing board. Definitely something is wrong here. The from where did I, I left, that should be T0, damn it, no wonder, yeah, let's see, I just want to see a bar. <sighs> still, you still have a bug somewhere. So. And I thought I will finish this today. The how to say the um, the fun of assembly. So the parameters are good for sure. Eight zero is, is the same. We just need to pass the contents of it to A1. And A1, we're getting the screen bit planes under us and put it to A1. So, and then we multiply the height of a of one row of characters by the number of rows that we want in the zero so in this case energy bar pos and energy bar pos is 19 so that's uh, sorry it's 13 so 13 times whatever this is which we I've already, we are we know that's correct because we have we are using it also here. So what I am missing to draw the screen. Quick. Mm. 
this I'm going to rename it because it will be next part and because it will be the same as here next part character even though it's a local label but and it also makes more sense It must be something so stupid. This should be correct. And then we take what's in it and we just move what's in eight zero. That's all. Um, hold on. That should be, yeah, but that's correct. Energy bar position because this is where it is, this is where we are storing it, and this is the position on the screen which is a constant. Hmm. I'm just going to Make sure that all is fine. And there's nothing guys that is affecting it. And it works like that. Yeah. Okay, okay, music. Ignore the music with the problems. And you can see where the energy bar is. We have the number of... We have a number which is decrementing every time we collide. That will be replaced by the energy bar. So why it is not... So... There must be something else that is affecting the bit plane. Where did I specify it? That is called game screen bit planes. Yeah. Oh God. Anybody can see? What's wrong with this routine? <laughs> it's such a simple routine. I mean, how can it be giving me so much trouble? Just
let's call it without printing anything. And let's see if till like this, it will be fine. fine uh, hold on did i yeah i did not call it now Okay, that's good sign. So, if it worked till there, then let's get it to work without looping. We should see just one bar or one character. Uh, let me read that. Um, yeah, let's leave it like that. Let's see. I should see instead of a zero, a bar. Um, probably it will be overwritten by. Let's see. Let's see. No. So. So. Um. After the print info. Ah, uh, there you go, we have a bar. It's here. Okay, so now we arrive to print. So something in the loop now. So, add 1 to 8 0. Should be fine. And add 1 to 8 1 should be fine also. So how come after this part it's getting it's getting let's try it like that. Still it's like I did nothing there, but let's do it like that. Okay, so so far so good. The bar is there. So what remains is this now. 
and I cannot imagine why that is affecting the game right now I have a yeah it's a image it I did not forget the hash Jeez. incredible okay so the loop is causing an issue once we advance to next character basically so all I'm doing is adding one to eight zero and one to a one because we need to do the next character yes so a zero is the next character and a one is yeah uh, hello of course hello that's a big mistake jesus christ that's the mistake ah okay now it will work Yes, there you go. So we have an energy bar. So now, hopefully, we can have two instead of one. But one of them is full and one of them is zero. So where the zeros are we should see a clear however we need to um create i'm just going to create a routine update bars now and this one This is drawbar. Draw the bar. So this one is removed from here and goes up here. And this becomes update bars. And then we just call draw bar. And we need to update the other one. So and then we have an RTM. And this one will be a depth bar. And depth bar boss. Yeah. So this one will do the energy bar meter. And this one will do the depth 
Parmita. It is perfect territory, I think. What it's doing. So now we should see one bar full, one bar empty. So, I see nothing because I'm not calling. I was too happy that it worked. I'm not calling update bars. But I'm still calling, still calling. Draw bar. And there you go. It's I stopped it by pressing F12 um, as you can see our energy bar is there and the other one which we set to zero is also empty we had zeros there uh, if I if you remember and we have overwritten them by having an empty bar so we need to do some update to the HUD now because it will be annoying so let's find the HUD. There we go. So we do not need, you see where we had depth meter, we had, we had all these zeros. Okay. So now we do not need that. We do not need this part in the hut. We do not need to write this. So I'm just going to, as it was before, comment it out. And then I delete it once I see that it is fine. And here, where we have lives. I'm just going to uncomment this for now because we are writing two live digits. Well, I haven't done it yet because we, we need to do something else. And I'm going to comment all these now. Okay, so the HUD when printing it using our print info routine, okay, or print routine, I forgot what I called it. Uh, print info. Um, it will just print what we need on the on the HUD. There's no need to print other things that we were overwriting with the bars. So, let's uh, continue and try to run it again. Of course, right now the bars are not decrementing, not doing anything. It's just being drawn, which we will, yeah, so we are still fine. Okay, uh, not really. Again, we have this thing up there that we did not have. So why with them? 
maybe because I'm I'm writing this here. Eh? Let's delete this actually. And let's run it as is. Anyway, the, the live digit is going to change, so might as well keep it till I fix, till I update what needs to be updated. Yeah, so that's because we were writing the, the live score. Okay, so that's fine. Um, okay, so we did the update, the, we did the bars, now we need to We need to change where we add where we handed the collision detection. We need to change that that every time we collide, okay, instead of losing a life, we lose a bit of the bar, right? Um, we need to do that. Uh, Let me think if there's something else because there we have the lives. Now we we have the variable lives that we are actually decrementing and which we initialized. Remember now instead of three we initialized it to sixty four. Same as the number of uh, pixels that we have on our bar. I mean we did that intentionally. Okay, so I just want to change something here. The bars are here. If I, in theory, they should not be there, but they should be here. We update and then we display but print info will overwrite right now no leave them there yeah because update hot print info this is print to the hot and then update the bars let's leave it like that for now yeah so we need to handle where we have the collision. So, um, collision, that is player, no? Yeah. And we need to work on this one. And actually, I think it's going to be very simple. Uh, well, simple. We need here we need a routine that decrements no the bars the energy bar so so here i thought here we are missing i should have a routine here that says I'm just going to write it, but 
decrement energy bar but we do not have this right now and lives we can leave it decrementing as it is yeah eventually we will remove the update lives so Mm, where 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 is best to do i'm going to do it in the hut okay let's do the routine that will decrement and increment i mean it should not be so difficult to do but that's what i always say this is decrement the energy bar. And decrement energy bar. And as always, they have an RTS. And then we, have, we need the same thing, but opposite. increment the depth bar okay so let's get the Um, where I defined here. So let's talk about the energy bar. So we have eight bytes and imagine this was a complete line. Okay. We have eight of these, all of them having to have five. Yeah. Okay. So imagine it was a whole, whole line. What we need to do is decrement one. So <clears throat> instead of having, so if this was one character, the last character, okay? Now I'm talking about this one, okay? If this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? We take one pixel off okay eventually can take as many pixels as we want but i'm going to do it to, to decrement by one pixel okay so each time we collide we are going to decrement by one pixel okay and hence the energy bar okay will have 64 pixels till it reach zero so the same amount that i did number of lives as you remember <laughs> so i did it i did it with that intention Hence, how we decrement. The, this, um, those, the values that we have in energy bar. So I'm just going to treat it like a binary number. Okay. All of them once in this case, and then do a number of logical shift left and rotates basically and that's it it should be decrementing hopefully i get it right so all we need is an the address to it but
and then the first one which is the one further to the right so I'm just going to do them again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we are going to work on this one. But I mean, we have a, you know, a, a, we are using the 68,000. So we actually can work on these two together as word instead of bytes and then these two together, and then these two together. Hence, I'm going to do logical shift uh, left, okay, So W. Remember, it's 68,000 code. If I was using another processor, I would uh, do this in a better way. But there are limitations on the 68,000. And I'm going to do six because it's it's the sixth uh, position. Uh, six bracket eight zero. Okay, and it's going to shift by one that word. Okay, to the left. Okay, then we do rotate. Um, and we need what's in the extended bit. Okay, so rotate R, dot W, and for bracket A0. And this I can copy and paste now. So hopefully I'm reasoning this right. Okay, so don't kill me if, it, if I'm making mistakes here, but that is... It should be shifting by one, okay, the values that we have in those, in that, at that address. And we will do the opposite, okay, for the depth bar. So instead of logical shift left, we do right. Okay, and this should be actually I made a mistake. This should be left, 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 and this should be right, 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 and this should be right. Okay, so that should be it let me see if I am reasoning it correctly yeah I think it is correct because this is going to the right so incrementing to the, towards the right mm. Anyway, we cannot test ink depth bar, but we will test uh, decrement energy bar. Um, so I will do that. So we have this routine here now, which we do that. Going to save it. I'm going to save this. And hopefully it assembles and it runs. And we can see the bars decrementing. Yeah, of course. There is always some mistake somewhere. Uh, var tables. What do I have in var? Ah, uh, I didn't remove these. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Let's see. If if we see the bar decrementing now. So till we reach zero we should collide 64 times and there you go it's colliding you see the bar the energy bar is decrement is decrementing please ignore the issues with the music okay the music is not ready yet so i'm just going to continue to make sure that it is it is decrementing the way we want it no At least it needs to pass 16 to know that it is working properly. Like it's doing it I mean we will know once we it did it did more than two characters so that is 16 for sure past stop it here so now i just thinking okay like we are decrementing the energy bar we can also go and do the just to see it okay to see it incrementing so what did we call it because i forgot already uh increment depth bar just to see it here i'm doing it so increment. i think this should be here i'm, I'm not sure i i need to i think this i, sh I should swap them zero two four and six but we'll see So let's see if the depth bar will increase by one. No. So definitely I have an issue there. Okay. So the depth bar. Let's see, it should be zero, two, four, and six. And run it. I know why. Yeah. So, um, 
just to I'm just going to make with my constant byte just for testing purposes anyway uh, this make it seven and this make it one uh, sorry this should be one to eight let's see if it will be able to rotate so run it so i should see one bar there one line sorry for the depth bar yes let's see okay it moved but <laughs> okay so we know it's moving but it's not uh, I should have the carry set yeah so that was the issue I was not setting the X bit I, I'm trying to think what was the instruction to set it, to be, to be fair. But I'm still happy it's incrementing the way I want it. It's just a question of... Um, So, okay, <laughs> so, um, what we uh, have, what we've done, okay, let's go to the, so we replace the lives with the energy bar, and we have added the energy bar and the depth bar and they do increment and decrement although I have to fix the depth bar and it's because I need to set uh, the flag um, what remains as I said once we fix this thing the, the, the depth bar okay will increment according to let's say number of frames that has passed in the game okay um hence with the same with the same method we can fix the when this by these sprites are respawned by saying a random number and that will be based on let's say if it comes 100 after 100 frames okay now 100 frames means two seconds okay on a pulse system hence why these two will fix each other the music of course it's not ready so um but it, it i just implemented there um i think it fits the team in a way <laughs> um we will continue on that however i do not see uh more than one more stream to be honest for all this so for 15 we will have this to add and these two these three So once we get the dead bar fixed, so now it's obviously on 15, I need to work on this one and on this one, definitely. The music, hopefully it will be fixed and then maybe we optimize. 
So then what remains after I do this is actually um, making the graphics better, which I will not waste uh, your time. Um, ah, ciao Dario. Um, where is the typo? In here. In the in this in this file. Over the bar. But in this file or in uh, Yeah, I understood uh, it's in the energy bar. Uh, in the game in here ah oh, just run the game aha uh -huh. oh yeah it could be uh then that is in the heart actually that is thank you thank you very much that means i've written it wrongly in the heart here and off there you go this one Thank you. <laughs> Good catch. Yeah. Perfect. So, um, because the noise of the music annoys me. Um, because it's not complete, as I said. Um, so, once in the next stream, okay, I do this for, then what remains is me up to um, doing the graphics and making it more polished. Hence, the game will be ready. And once I finish the graphics, I will get some people to help me out, I have to say. Um, I will do another stream saying what I changed uh, and showing what uh, what has improved. Maybe I improved it a bit in terms of ideas. Uh, and then I will be talking on the next game. But um, till that happens, I mean, I can promise you episode number 15. Episode number 16, which will be the last one of the series for sure, um, will probably take some time because as I said I'm quite busy right now doing work on the house um, and this is why I, I'm not doing the streaming on Saturday and, and Sunday um, however uh, yeah I would like to close this one um, and then continue with the book maybe at the book I will do it every two weeks um, given that I manage uh till i have i mean the house will be finished the builder is saying you know how builders are the builder is saying that it he will finish it okay by end of april but you know it depends on weather and all that crap so yeah so guys thank you very much for having the patience to um, be with me and see um, all that I am, uh, <laughs> all the bugs that I had and all my hassle that I had. Wish you a happy weekend and hopefully we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.